Hello. So today I'm going to show you how to clean an ear if you guys are doing your own uh, grooming. I like to use this pro ear, which is probably on my website. And this is Sprucey. He said he'd volunteer. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle this in there. Don't worry about it going in, and then you're going to start to pull a little bit. And then you can see he's not that upset about it. Little bits. Just little tiny bits. Hope you can hear me because the puppies are in a play play mood right now. So you're going to start feeling like big hunks of it. So right now I've already got this much. And of course I'm trying to do this with the camera so it's a little harder. same time is the hard part here. Stay here, buddy. You're okay. You're such a good boy. Such a good boy. And so, the more that you pluck, the more right here, like a really deep, big piece came. So, you don't try not to scratch it with your fingernails. Some people like to use little finger uh, They call them finger condoms, but I don't care. I don't need them. It's a lot easier for me to feel if I'm touching him. See the big, huge chunks? And he's been clean. No, no, no. Get up here. Pretty recently. I try not to do it too often because I don't want to make their ears sore on the inside. So open it up. Now we're starting to get some of the big, deep stuff. I try to keep the light in there. hair. So you've got this little flap right here and that gets shaved up. So sometimes I just use that just to hold it open but you don't have to pull that. They seem to be more sensitive about that. Okay. So all, even all these little tiny things you can just do little tiny clean up of all this. This area. All these little fuzzies that catch, you know, ear wax and stuff, and we just clean them out. Clean it out, clean it out. Not so bad, okay? Alright. And, oh and he's still got more in there. Start reaching and pulling some of the really deep stuff out. I used to hate this so bad. I thought, oh god, it's so gross. When you first start doing it, you're like, oh my gosh, these dogs hate it. And here's a trick. Okay. And he's looking really good. And I want to tell you, you don't have to have every hair out. Don't, you know, get the big stuff out. Clip your fingernails, make sure that you're all clean and everything, um, so that you don't scratch them all up and stuff, but you don't have to have every hair. If you try to get every hair out, what happens is they get sore, and then you get, then you end up with a, a problem. Okay? So what I'm going to say is, this looks really good. Okay? So, what you do, here's the trick. 
if you pull it for the very first time and your dog doesn't know what you're doing, just go, oh yeah, oh that smells so good. And usually they'll get all excited like, oh, she's grooming me, that feels so good, blah, blah, blah. So there's an ear that doesn't have tons and tons of hair in it. Remember, we don't care about that flap because we're going to trim that. Okay? Hang on. Nope. Sit down. Sit down, buddy. Come here. I actually already did one, and he did so well. So what you do is we have a uh, trees ear flush, antifungal, antimicrobial flush. Do a squirt, and then we take their ear. And we do a beautiful clean on it. Anything that, any of that white ear stuff that goes in, it'll work its way back out. It's made for ears, so don't freak out. Gently, you know, gently clear. Clean all that, all this comes off. Anything that leaked, go to the other side, go down deep. And they love this. This is so nice. Okay. And never use this on both ears. Always get a new one. And you can just clean with these in between. But you see, his ear's not really that dirty. It's just... So here's the end result. Come here, buddy. You got your good boy. Is this beautifully pink, open. He's got giant ears. Um, some dogs don't. So you need to be more careful with the fingernails and stuff. And just remember... It'll grow back, so you don't have to worry about it getting every single hair and being anal about it. Just keep them clean. And you got to remember, if all that stayed way deep down in his ears, then it's just it just keeps packing and packing and growing, just like their fur. So now he's got a beautiful clean ear. He already has one clean ear, and I'm going to give him a bath and groom him all up, and we're going to give him kisses. So the big trick is the ear powder, which I'm not going to show you that Cherry already ate the top of my little squirter off. That's terrible. But it's called Pro Ear Professional Ear Powder. Miracle Worker, because it just, it helps it come out and it helps you grip it. And it's like a completely different game. Okay? Now, let's see. I don't even have the big pile of hair that I just got out of. It's just sad. Here's the... Uh, Cleaning wipes, everybody knows what those are. Keep those handy all the time. And you need this, Tries, Tries, T R I S, Ear Flush by Med MD. And just always have a bottle of it. It's just a super nice cleaner. And for every day. So, and you need a dog and you need fingers. Okay, love you guys. I hope it wasn't too loud in here. I got the TV, the furnace, Lily. And puppies all making noise at the same time. And we're all stacked up because we have no more room left. Say, hey, thank you. Thank you for watching. I see teeth. Okay.